Welcome and thank you for your attention. My name is Mitch Peters from the Open University of Catalonia and on behalf of our broader research team I will pr be presenting uh, a presentation entitled Toward a User-Centered Design Approach for AR Technologies in Online Higher Education. The current research context is in the field of online higher education where a well-established challenge is the passivity of the learner and the difficulty of building affordable and student-centered learning resources, including the high cost and effort involved in building interactive, extended reality and immersive learning scenarios. In the broader field of online higher education, there has been a shift towards active learning through a student-centered model, which is the case of the Open University of Catalonia, where faculty and instructional designers have had to respond by offering both novel and impactful digital learning experiences which go beyond traditional text-based resources. The current phenomena of interest involves formulating design requirements for the development of AR technology in order to support learning of complex video technology and their applications and procedures within the broader field of multimedia studies. And in this sense, the guiding research question is, how can a user-centered design process be used to frame the development of AR applications which support student learning and multimedia education? There is a broad literature on the integration of augmented reality in education, and in particular higher education, and in agreement with Azuma, the current study defines AR systems as a system which combines real and virtual objects in a real environment, registers real and virtual objects with each other, and runs interactively in three dimensions and in real time. Among the clear advantages of using AR include enhancing learning achievement and learning motivation, raising the level of engagement, enabling visu visualization of invisible concepts, and increasing interest uh, by providing interactive opportunities for learning resources. Of course, there are some considerable challenges, including the time required for the development, uh, errors which may cause student frustration in the technology, uh, the expense of developing AR applications, as well as its ability to cause cognitive overload, among others. In this regard, the current study follows Wu et al. who recommend establishing constructive alignment among technology design, instructional approach, and the learning activities, experiences, and associated outcomes of the learner. In regards to the immersed learner in, in the current study, the current study envisions using the screen of the mobile device where, uh, for the purposes of the learner to immerse in the content, not only visualizing it, but also manipulating, interacting, and experimenting with it in real time. And in this regard, they are using the camera as uh, a mobile device as a metaphor for the director's camera. The AR app aims at pushing the learners to act and experiment, offering a new dimension of freedom of actions. Highlighting the connections to learning uh, that the research inquiry aims to underscore and make explicit, we will present here some of the possible outcomes, the specific outcomes which we have uh, identified in the current study, most common of which include enhancing learning achievement and motivation, but also promoting self-learning, uh, combining the physical and virtual worlds in an interactive environment, allowing learners to learn by doing, emphasizing student-centered technology, and enabling the visualization of invisible concepts, as well as abstract concepts. The current study will follow a user-centered design process from the human-computer interaction perspective, and in this sense uh, ensures that the users and their context of interaction are taken into account from the beginning of the design process and throughout the iterative design life cycle. After identifying a clear research problem, the general UCD process involves four phases as outlined below. The first phase, understanding context of use and specifying user uh, requirements, followed by design, building design solutions and evaluating those solutions against the developed requirements. 
The current conceptual study uh, involves the first phase of developing an educational scenario review. In later iterations of this study, we will develop claim analysis and usability testing. The current study will present results from the analytical tools of creating personas, developing an AR scenario review, and user journey mapping. I will now present the findings and implications. Uh, the first output has been the development of a persona, which is an archetype of a group of users with similar behavior, needs, goals, skills, and attitudes. The development of the persona, which has been uh, data-driven, has been has used data-driven descriptions of real users, will help guide design decisions um, by understanding uh, certain characteristics of uh, a typical user, an archetypal user. The second phase involves building an educational scenario review. Uh, this has been adapted from the user-centered design approach, uh, as well as from guidelines on designing immersive educational environments. The goal here has been to specify the context of use and the scenarios of interaction, and in particular, contextualize the use of the AI application within the broader program and course settings, including the specific learning activities and outcomes in which the AR application serve to support. For example, here we see the wider program and course context for development, including the course description and the program learning model focused on both student-centered and challenge-based learning model. We then move to more specific uh, scenarios of interaction, including uh, asking questions such as what the students will need to do while using the AR re resource, um, what other learning resources will students need to complete the course. We also uh, identify the motivations for using the AR resource, uh, as well as which knowledge and skills will be developed within the immersive environment and how these knowledge and skills will be integrated with what is being taught in the rest of the course program. Continuing along with the scenario review, we look at such questions as what the learner is expected to learn through the presence of the AI resource, what is possible for the learner to learn, uh, and then we focus on the learner environment, asking where the interaction takes place, the medium, which devices and technologies will be used, as well as the mood of the learner as they interact with the AR application. Finally, we uh, discuss the obstacles and challenges uh, which students may face as they engage with the AR application. The final phase of this first uh, evaluation process has been developing a user journey mapping, a technique which uh, aims to describe the interaction between an individual and the rest of the educational scenario. Um, and in this sense, it has been broken into three distinct stages of learner activity, the first being the assignment planning stage, where the learner will first interact with the resource, then the work production stage, which uh, again, the learner will rely on the AR resource to complete the specific, specific learning task, followed by the assignment review submission stage. We will now move to the methodological, uh, to the contributions and implications of the study, including the methodological contribution, which has been the development of, of a educational scenario review process which can assist teams in the design and development of AR applications with an aim to enhance student learning and achievement. Uh, a UCD approach can therefore offer an effective analytical framework essential at the beginning of the design life cycle where developers can have deeper insight into the educational context and scenarios of interaction as well as into the user experience uh, of learners when interacting with an AR application. In relation to the conclusion in future directions, the current study has contributed to the literature on emerging models of OHE, which aim to position students at the center of an active learner process. It has explored the conceptual design and development of AR technologies in online higher education by conducting and reporting the first phase of a user-centered design research methodology. And it has also emphasized the learner and their specific needs at the beginning and throughout the design and development lifecycle of AR applications. And as such, the current study argues that 
such an approach can aid adoption of AR technologies in HE and enhance student learning and achievement. Thank you for your attention. Any further questions can be directed to the emails on uh, the screen below.